Semi-solid cloning with Clonacell Media provides an efficient method for simultaneous selection and cloning of mammalian cell lines. During semi-solid cloning, freshly fused or transfected cells are immobilized within a viscous medium. This allows individual cells to grow into discrete monoclonal colonies. Picking these colonies enables isolation of clones with a high probability of monoclonality in a single cloning step. During this process, both slow and fast-growing clones form discrete colonies, which can be isolated and expanded separately. This makes it easy to isolate diverse clones, thus increasing the probability of isolating rare, high-yielding clones. Semi-solid cloning with Clonacell Media makes it easy to isolate a large number of diverse clones with a high probability of monoclonality while using fewer resources than other methods, such as limiting dilution cloning. There are two different methods for semi-solid cloning of mammalian cell lines. In the standard procedure, cells are suspended in selective semi-solid medium and then plated and incubated in 10 centimeter plates. After incubation, colonies are picked and transferred to individual wells of a 96 well plate and expanded in liquid medium. The expanded cultures are then screened for the product of interest. As we will show in this video, in the 96 well plate protocol, freshly fused or transfected cells are also suspended in selective semi-solid medium, but the cells are plated directly into 96 well plates instead of 10 centimeter dishes. Colonies that grow in the semi-solid medium in each well are screened for protein production in situ. The advantage of this approach is that only those clones that produce the protein of interest need to be harvested. Clonacell Flex Semi-Solid Base Medium is designed for cloning a wide variety of cell types. By adding a two times concentrate of your own liquid cell culture medium, you can create a semi-solid cloning medium that is customized to your own cells and processes. This video will cover the 96 well plate protocol for semi-solid cloning with Clonacell Flex. The steps detailed in this video include introducing the gene of interest and preparing the cells for cloning, preparing the semi-solid medium and adding supplements and cells, plating the semi-solid cell suspension into 96 well plates, incubation of the plated cultures, overlaying the cultures with liquid growth medium, screening the overlaid medium, picking the colonies and transferring them to liquid medium for expansion. The latter steps are specific to the 96 well plate protocol. A video covering the standard Clonacell Flex semi-solid cloning procedure is available on our website. Transfection and preparation of cells. Clonacell Flex can be used to clone a variety of cell types, including CHO cells and hybridomas. For the 96 well plate procedure, like the standard semi-solid cloning procedure, these cells can be prepared using a variety of methods. Introduce your gene of interest or otherwise prepare your cells for selection and cloning using your normal protocol. Depending on the cell type, cells may require an appropriate incubation period prior to selection and cloning. On the same day as transfection, Remove the 45 milliliter bottle of Clonacell Flex semi-solid base medium from the freezer and place it in a refrigerator to thaw at four degrees Celsius overnight. The thawed medium will be required the next day. Preparing the semi-solid cell suspension. On the day after transfection, you will need to prepare the semi-solid medium by adding a two times concentrated liquid growth medium, supplements, and selection agents. You will then add the cells and dispense the semi-solid cell suspension into 96 well plates. 45 milliliters of Clonacell Flex semi-solid base medium is provided in each bottle. 45 milliliters of a two times concentrated solution of your own liquid cell culture medium and a liquid additive solution containing selection agents and any other supplements are added to the bottle, followed by the cells to be cloned. After adding these components, the total volume of semi-solid cell suspension will be 100 milliliters. As we move through the following steps, 
it's important to remember that the total volume of the liquid additive solution plus the liquid cell suspension should not exceed 10 milliliters. To prepare the semi-solid medium, first remove the 45 milliliter bottle of Clonacel Flex semi-solid base medium from the refrigerator. Place the bottle in an incubator at 37 degrees Celsius to pre-warm the medium. Add 45 milliliters of your two times concentrated liquid cell culture medium. This medium should be specific to the cell type and selection system you are using. Your bottle should now contain 90 milliliters of semi-solid medium, leaving a total volume of 10 milliliters for the additives and cells to be added. Calculate the amount of selection agents and supplements to be added to the semi-solid medium and prepare the liquid additive solution in Clonacel Cho CD liquid medium. Remember, the total volume of the liquid additive solution and the cell suspension added to the bottle should be 10 milliliters. In this video, we add five milliliters of liquid additive solution and five milliliters of cell suspension. Add 5 milliliters of the liquid additive solution to the bottle of semi-solid medium. Your bottle should now contain 95 milliliters of supplemented semi-solid medium. Shake the bottle vigorously to mix the medium. Next, you will add the cells to the supplemented semi-solid medium. To prepare the cells, remove them from the incubator. Cells can either be harvested by centrifugation or transferred directly from the culture flask. Regardless of which method is used, they must be in a single cell suspension. Perform a viable cell count. Determine the optimal number of cells to plate to obtain one colony per well. The cell concentration used for plating will need to be determined experimentally, as it will vary depending on the cell type, transfection efficiency, condition of the cells, etc. If you already have experience with cloning by limiting dilution, try plating the same number of cells per well in the semi-solid medium as you would in liquid medium. Add the calculated volume of cells to an appropriate volume of 1x liquid cell culture medium. You should have a total volume of 5 milliliters of cell suspension to be added to the bottle. Add 5 milliliters of the liquid cell suspension to the 95 milliliters of the supplemented semi-solid medium in the bottle. Mix the contents of the bottle thoroughly and let it sit for at least 15 minutes to allow the bubbles to rise to the top. The cells are now ready for plating. Plating the semi-solid cell suspension. Using a multi-channel pipetter with sterile wide-bore pipette tips, dispense 60 to 80 microliters of the final mixture into each well of a 96 well plate. As the mixture is very viscous, it can be difficult to pipette. However, it is not crucial to dispense exactly the same volume into each well. We recommend placing the covered 96 well plates inside a larger dish along with an uncovered dish of sterile water. This will help to ensure that the cultures are well humidified. Place the cover on the large dish and incubate the cultures at 37 degrees Celsius and 5% carbon dioxide for eight days. It is important that the cultures are not disturbed during this incubation period. Overlaying with liquid medium. After eight days, look for the presence of colonies by eye or under the microscope. Pre-warm your one times liquid cell culture medium to 37 degrees Celsius. For each well that contains a colony, gently layer 150 microliters of pre-warmed liquid medium on top of the semi-solid medium in the well. If the liquid medium is added gently, colonies will remain intact. You can also use a multi-channel pipette to layer liquid medium onto the cultures in all of the wells. Using this method, you do not need to check for the presence of colonies, but you will need to screen the overlay medium in all of the wells during the next step. Incubate the cultures in a well-humidified incubator at 37 degrees Celsius and 5% carbon dioxide for a further two to four days. 
Incubation time can be increased to enable the detection of low-producing clones. Screening the overlaid liquid. The next step is to screen the overlaid liquid medium for the protein product of interest to identify producing clones. Carefully remove a maximum of 100 microliters of the overlaid liquid medium from each well. Leave the remaining liquid, about 50 microliters, on top of the semi-solid culture to ensure that the colonies are not disturbed. Test the supernatants for specific protein products using an appropriate assay. Picking and expanding producing clones. Cultures that produce your protein of interest will be expanded in liquid culture in 24 well plates. Prepare the 24 well plates by adding one milliliter of liquid culture medium to each well. Ensure that the liquid cell culture medium you use contains any additives needed for growth and expansion of your cells. For wells that tested positive for your protein of interest, Gently resuspend the contents of the well using a new sterile pipette tip. Transfer the resuspended culture to the liquid medium in a new well of a 24 well plate. If a well contains more than one colony, it may be possible to harvest and transfer each colony separately for expansion and retesting. If isolation of individual colonies is not possible, the whole well can be recloned either immediately or after one to two days of expansion in liquid medium. Clones that can be harvested independently will have a high probability of monoclonality at this stage. However, recloning these cultures may be useful when selecting for stable, high-producing clones. Semi-solid cloning in 96 well plates allows you to harvest and expand only those clones that produce the product of interest. This can save time and resources during cloning. Additionally, because the clones grow as discrete colonies in the semi-solid medium, the isolated clones have a high probability of monoclonality after only one cloning step. This allows you to move on to further stages of cell line development more quickly. Semi-solid cloning with Clonacell Media helps you take the smart way to the right clone. Visit stemcell.com for more information about Clonacell products for Cho cells, hybridomas, and other cell lines.